Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about Thor Love and Thunder. The reason why I want to talk about it, because I was thinking about that trailer, and you know how I was like, what the fuck? The reason why I was saying what the fuck is because it didn't feel like anything. It didn't feel like anything to get excited for. It was just like, are we serious? And the reason why I want to talk about it is because it feels so lazy. And I think just because they saw that Thor Ragnarok did so well, that they were like, let's double down on that same nonsense. And you shouldn't. And let's talk about the trailer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe what I would have done for the trailer, right? Okay. So what we do for the, for Thor um, Love and Thunder, we open with, uh, with Thor talking. So space, right? Thor's talking and he talks about how, you know, back when he was a young prince and he was fighting wars and saving the day and how people would praise him and how, you know, he would be worshipped as a god or whatever, stuff like that. And then while he's talking, you see a over you see like overlay of, you know, Thor's activities throughout the um throughout the world um of the cinematic universe, you know, to see him whatever and stuff like that and he's like it, it comes to and basically he keeps he, you know he's on this deep um, philosophical motive of talking about how you know after discovering himself or whatever that he decided that you know he is, he's a he's Thor God of Thunder and he should you know go out to the, the outer world and see what it's like to be a god you know what i mean so what's happening is throughout that also that thing but we flat we flash into gorg because apparently gore is in here gore the god butcher and we see a destruction of a city um we don't really get to know much it's it's happening it's like flashes really fast or whatever and we see we see how this planet is i guess famished attacked or whatever let's just say they were attacked or whatever and you see this the the guy you see christian bell who plays gore he is screaming out in pain over the loss of his youngest child um and then he was like and then you hear him cry out gods if anyone can hear me please help me or whatever and stuff like that you get what i mean and you know It flashes back. I mean, well, it doesn't. It doesn't really flash back. It it kind of goes back to Thor still kind of like wondering, like, if I'm a god, what is what does it mean to be Thor, god of thunder? So you you know, he's not with the he's he's talking to to Peter Quill, and Peter was like, maybe it's time. Maybe you should go out and find out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just. Just, but not in a comedic way, but in like a serious meaning or whatever. And we get the flash. We do uh, montages of him, you know, actually going out to these other planets, being Thor, God of Thunder or whatever. So we wouldn't see that stupid Ravagers costume or anything. We would see like um, his his God his God Butcher costume. Um, if any of you guys remember Thor, God of Thunder um, run where he actually had a different costume. So it'll be like that. So it'll be um, the black the black leather costume where his arms are out, but he has he has gloves. He has um, black sleeveless gloves on. So if you guys seen that costume, you know what I'm talking about. All you gotta do is look at um, Thor, God of Thunder, which um, has the God Butcher arc in it. You'll see the costume that I'm talking about pretty much. Um, so why you see a montage is montage of Thor fighting and saving the day you you um you'll hear a voice over of gore talking about you know I always thought that you know if you believe in gods and if you pray to them they will save the day and it looks like they've abandoned me and that's when you know you see another flash of him grabbing his sword right and we'll we'll cut to we'll cut to new asgard basically but new asgard would be a little bit different from what from what marvel did in the trailer new asgard would be like um when new asgard 
was in Oklahoma. So it would be moved to the United States, but it will be in Oklahoma, but it will be over the farmlands of Oklahoma. Does that make sense? Where it had that levitational um, city. So Asgard's built back and it, the gods are, are there. Um, and you have Valkyrie, you have Valkyrie as queen, queen Valkyrie. We were, we're not about to do this bullshit. And basically what will happen, what will happen is, um, you know, she's a little bored with being queen or whatever, but what you'll see is you'll see, you'll see, um, you'll see a crash, a crash that'll happen in, um, new Asgard, but we don't get to see who crashed on new Asgard. Then we'll, before it over to, um, Jane Foster sitting in the, sitting, sitting in a doctor's office, um, while doctors talking to her about stuff or whatever. And, you know, basically Jane Foster looks up and was like, how long do I have, you know? And we'll cut back to, um, we'll cut back to Thor going to a planet, going, um, going to a planet and saving someone. And then they was and it, but, but the destruction happened and Thor asked what happened. Right. So pretty much what will happen is he was like, um, he was like, Thor, um, Thor, the God Butcher, he, um, he, he slayed, he slayed the, the whatever, whatever, because the planet had a God, and now that God is dead, well, I guess the person, the, when Thor comes to that planet, that planet has a God, and that God just died as soon as Thor showed up, because Thor was coming to save the day, you know what I mean, um, and he was like, who is, who is Gore, and he was like, and then, you know, of course, it's a montage of, you know, gore going around killing people or whatever, and it'll be the, like the same kind of thing that'll happen with um with everything else going on or whatever. I'm just like, oh my lord. So you'll see um gore killing people, of course. So because gore is killing killing gods or whatever, but we won't really see it. We just know that he, that it strikes terror. So we'll just like see little clips of him swinging his sword. It makes it look like he done killed somebody, but we won't know until, um, anything because we, we're trying to keep everything a little bit hidden in the trailer. And um, basically, basically, you know, um, Jane Foster goes to, to new Asgard because she got a call from um, Queen Valkyrie and about how we need to find Thor. And, you know, now, you know, um, Jane was like, maybe there might be some information with the broken mill near about how we can find him, um, whatever. And of course, Darcy's going to be there help us assisting, assisting her and stuff like that. And, um, of course, when, um, new Asgard was built, the old mill near pieces kind of showed up in like a tribute site of all of the lost Asgardians and whatever and stuff like that. So it's in like a little garden like kind of field where the, the hammer and the pieces are still there or whatever and stuff like that. And, um, you know, Valkyrie explains like the hammer broke apart and we haven't been able to, to figure out how to fix it or anything and stuff like that. And of course, because now Lee's still a good researcher or, I mean, Jane Foster's still a thing should be like, well, maybe I'll, maybe, maybe there's a way to fix it, um, and find Thor. So of course you, that transitions to Thor fighting, fighting something. And what will be happening is it'll have a, it'll have a, it'll have a reveal of, it'll have a, um, so why Thor is on that planet, on that planet because we don't want we don't um it's just a, remember this is just a flash it's just me just saying what I would ha what I would want to kind of see to just kind of because this movie would be more serious it wouldn't be that jokey kind of kind of thing or whatever and stuff like that so um basically um basically Thor Thor arrives at another planet that has that that's fighting another god um, slaves and then you know. Um, you'll see Gore, you'll see Gore, um, standing above a, a cliff or something like that. And he was like, who are you? Are you my next target? And he was like, are you Gore? But we won't see, we won't see anything, uh, stuff like that. But, but basically it'll be Thor talking to him saying, I'm here to stop you. <laughs> and then of course, you know, you just hear a laugh or whatever. And then 
um, it'll cut, it'll cut, a, it'll cut a gag away to, well, it'll cut a, it'll cut like a little gag away to like the Guardians of the Galaxy fighting with Thor, you know, like some kind of like little early, early scene where you see Thor fighting with the, um, uh, Ravengers or Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever and stuff like that. And, um, pretty much, you know, Thor was like, you know, I always help, help people close to me, my, my friends, my family and everyone I lost almost everyone that I cared about including my team the Avengers and he's like what's left of a god if he doesn't if he can't protect anyone and then um you'll hear you hear gore you'll um you'll see you'll hear gore say death well you'll hear gore he'll say death and then what what you what you see is um Thor, Thor's a little bit injured or whatever, and then you'll come, you'll um, you'll see Thor's ready to ready to battle or whatever, but we don't know what he's battling against, right? But we, we do know the hammer, the uh, Mjolnir will come out of nowhere and I'll hit whoever the enemy is. It doesn't have to be Gore; it can be whoever, it can be whoever we want it to be right now. It can just be a a battle like Thor, you know, Thor hasn't hasn't fought gore yet or fought something or whatever and stuff like that and you'll see you'll see thor looking shocked and surprised about the hammer and then when the hammer comes back um comes back it'll go into the hands of jane foster and stuff like that and she's like we have a lot to talk about and you know it kind of goes off right there and that's kind of like your little teaser trailer or whatever but the reason why i'm saying that is because you want to kind of show that you have a villain and not, not this self-discovery comedic nonsense we need like a darker take on the story because Thor needs to be a Norse um, you know a god a Norse mythological adventure and what I mean is not colorful not not colorful like Ragnarok and I know what you guys are talking about who's the mysterious who's the mysterious character that fell um that fall that fell down or whatever um if you guys know about Thor's recent update of history, not the Phoenix Force, but some other character got involved, that's the character that I'm that I would also introduce. So it's going to be another shocking surprise for Thor as well. Um, when you know when the whole thing with Natalie, um, when Jane Foster comes comes in um, comes in to help, and that's basically how I would have the the teaser trailer. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like setting up. You know, you know this grand adventure. I'm. I showed off a little bit of the villain, and what his reasoning for, and I showed off a reasoning why you would add Jane Foster and Valkyrie into the story, besides just showing clips of them. You know what I mean? And I also showed like a, a little part where you have a little bit of a flashback with um, Thor hanging out with the Guardians of the Galaxy and deciding that he needs to go on his own and and learn. I mean and see what it's like being a god among gods you get what i'm saying so that'll be that that'll be something really cool I, I just thought it would be a little bit more interesting than what i was seeing because that trailer just was like you know, flashy images comedic outtake every five seconds and a 80 songs what wow that's great <laughs> that's great but that's not enough to draw in my attention of like you know why would I want to go and see this movie you know and and you see how you see how that's way more reflective you see how at the end when you see Jane use the hammer but I mean of course we know it's Jane Foster Thor doesn't know it's Jane Foster or anything yet but you, you see how that kind of makes it kind of work or whatever that way we can we can get we can see her, see the hammer in action or something like that and then, and then I guess once the little credits roll or whatever, and then um, you see, you'll see um, you'll see you see um, a zoom in panel of Thor and Jane Foster standing next to next to each other, um, back to back, and they're holding their weapons, getting ready to charge it. You get you see what I'm saying? You see how? And then it'll it'll go off and it'll say coming whatever. I forgot whatever date it was. I don't I don't really care what date it was. But you kind of see how that would have made a little bit more sense than the comedic take that they went with for the movie. Because to be honest, I have 
no interest in watching the movie because it didn't capture it didn't capture my inter- my interest. I was like, oh, here we go with Thor Ragnarok 2.0 again. And like, oh, okay. I mean, slight. I mean, the Thor movies haven't been all that great, but you know, mm, Jesus Lord, I don't know. I I, I don't know. It's just my opinion. I just kind of wanted to kind of come on here and just kind of been like, hey, this is what I would have did for the little teaser trailer if I was doing the story or whatever. I mean, I could have went a little bit more in detail with what I wanted to say or whatever, but this is just, you know, my free thoughts out there just to kind of get it out there so you guys can kind of see where I'm coming from and where I would have wanted to take in the, the trailer. But I mean, hey, everybody got their own different way of it. And of course, I know everybody's going to be like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is this trailer is amazing. You don't know what you're talking about, Trey. Uh, and I'm like, oh, okay, sure, fine, whatever. I mean, if you guys say so, you know. I mean, if you guys say so. I mean, I don't think it's all that, to be honest. I kind of, kind of, kind of find it quite boring, to be honest. Um, but I don't hate it, but I don't like it neither. So I'm still in the middle with it. So it's still a what the fuck. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.